Hello and welcome to my studio. This is Joycelyn Shedler. Um, my handles on Facebook and Instagram are J Shedler Art. That's why I'm showing you this sign and in, in, in starting with this. I just wanted to do a little intro to a demo that I want to do for the Austin Pastel Society. I was scheduled to do that in April for our meeting, but I do not think that is going to happen this year, April 2020, as I believe we'll probably still be under um, quarantine and social distancing due to the COVID-19 virus. So with that said, I wanted to start off showing you um, my selection of pastels, not to show off, but because I want to show you how I go about choosing uh, pastels that I'll be using for a particular art piece. So let's start with, since I'm closest to this side of my studio, this is my small, actually mini Heilman travel box. This is the one I generally carry to quick classes like the weekly classes taught by Enid Wood in Bastrop, Texas. That's usually the one I carry with me. And then I also have this box, which is the Versa, I'll pan down here, from Art Essentials. Goodness, I, I bought this when I first started doing pastels and um, I pick and pluck at it so it doesn't go very far. But I do like to take it to workshops because it does have its own top which converts to an easel. So that's very nice. You see my little foil tray there. I just put up there to keep my pastels sort of clean. So that's that box of pastels. And then over here, voila, the Pizza Restaurants. My French is horrible because, you know, I'm Texan. But I'll just start over here on the right hand side. I have a nice little collection of Holbein pastels. And then along the back wall here, I have some bits and pieces down in there, but I also have these lovely Terry Ludwig sets. I only have a few pencils. I'm, I don't use pencils a lot, it just doesn't fit my style. I'm not a very detailed person. I use them to sign my art a lot. <laughs> so I do have those. Ooh, I didn't open up these beautiful Rochers. Let me do that real quick while you're looking. Oh, because we may use some of these in the in the picture that I've chosen to paint. Um, these were gifted to me, and I love them. And they stay in their box because they're very expensive, and I use them as like icing on the cake. Okay, and then these pans. These are baking sheet size, and they are filled with various brands of pastels that I. I had and then I also purchased quite a few from an artist who was going back to oil painting and so any of them that you see with paper come from her because I'm I make my naked as soon as I get them so anyway those are the pastels that I can choose from most of my pastels anyway I'm sure I have some hold away in uh, backpacks somewhere so I'll switch around over here so that's my setup it is right behind me this is my north light window and then coming around to my easel which I did set up for this the other day and started a little video um, that was not very good so it's been deleted and we're starting over so what I have chosen is a I believe this is a sunset picture or photograph from Alaska when we went there on a cruise several years ago and on my easel you see a piece of paper that I have toned and I did a whole video of that and I'm going to be publishing that on YouTube about toning slash underpainting um, and which papers take it and which papers don't and then just a quick uh, demo on how to do it and this is one of the pieces of paper from that and so far I got as far as drawing the horizon line which I measured with a ruler <laughs> because I cannot seem to draw a straight line. And then below that on my easel is a dust tray. Catches dust for me on a trash bag. 
To my left is where I will keep my working pastels. As you see, I have not chosen them yet because the paper towel is blank and the little tray is blank. Over here is a little dust tray and I have my little box of broken pieces of new pastels. Oh, that's what I didn't get out. My other box of new pastels. I have a lot more of them. A lot more colors to choose from. And that's what I'll be looking at and how I'll be working. I am left-handed, so I'm going to keep my pastels that I'm working with on my left-hand side. And then my easel, my natural light, and then behind me are my pastel choices. So, and then my computer desk. I'll just take you all the way around my studio. My air purifier on the floor there, picking up dust and the closet with lots of stuff hidden in there and back to my easel that's it i just have a little i think it's 11 by 11 room um up on the wall are shelves from ikea that hold works in progress and my whiteboard telling me what to do and when and then a couple of shelves with just various things on it so Let's do the choosing of pastels. I think I can do that while I hold the camera. I will take this down. Sure, I can do this one handed. Okay. So this is the photograph. Really gorgeous. I'm pretty sure it was a sunset, but they look very similar. And as I studied sunrises versus sunsets, I found that really other than the pollutants in the air and things that that can darken the sunset, um, pretty much sunrises have more light paler colors, lots of blues and pinks maybe, whereas sunsets tend to have a lot more warmer colors, yellows and oranges. Um, like I said, some of that is picking up dust and items in the air. So let's go over to my pastels and pick some colors out. Follow along. I'm picking up my tray. So I can put them in my little tray. Here we go. All right. Now we're over here at the pastel choices. I'm doing the best I can to do this one handed. So first I'll just set my tray down because I probably won't be using lots of dark browns and such. So let's look, just pick out some colors. This will just be the starting color set. So I'm going to go with the dark colors at the bottom. I see lots of like dark blues and even some green. Do you see the colors I'm seeing? Hopefully. Let's look down here. Hmm. <laughs> this is a nice dark blue. It might not even be dark enough, but I like it. So we can play. Um, this is a dark purple. Well, nothing looks as dark in person as it does on here. Ooh, there's color, dark, a dark color. My favorite dark is the Terry Ludwig eggplant color. I'll clean these before I use them. Anyway, so I've got three dark colors. Uh, like I said, I do see some dark green in there, so I'm going to pan over to my greens, see what I have for dark green. Oh, I like this one. And right about now, I can hear people asking me, well, what brand is that? Hmm. Can't really tell you. I can take good guesstimates because of the size and the diameter of them that this is probably a... Uh, these two are probably Unison. Sorry, Unison. This is, I know, a Terry Ludwig because I use that all the time. This one, I'm not sure. Might be a Rembrandt. Just not sure. Okay, those are my dark colors. I might get one more green that is a little more emeraldy green. Kind of pretty. Hmm. Yeah, let's just start with that. So this one, this one is a winner. So these are the colors I have picked for the dark areas. 
along here. Let's see. Ooh. Hmm. That sky blue up here. See the gradation in the sky? And goes down to a light blue and then starts turning the yellows and the oranges. oranges. And those colors also reflect onto the water. So let's look up here, these, these blues for this sky blue. Hmm. 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 As I look down here, hmm. maybe something like this. Hold it up to the photo. It's kind of pretty. Looks really good right there. Look how it just kind of blends in. That's kind of the right color of sky blue for that. And then we get a little bit lighter. Maybe something along this line. And I'm kind of just holding it up to my photo and going, yeah. First glances, that looks pretty good. Um, and then another lighter. And this is kind of turning almost a, a turquoise, a light turquoise kind of color. And I'm loving this one. Okay, so that's looking like a good combination for sky colors. I can come back to these anytime I want, but I just want to get a small palette to start off with. Now I'm going to look at this beautiful cloud right here. Oh, it's got in the shadow of it, but oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? Um, yeah, this is like a deep, deep red, and then it, you know, so you got this deep, deep, looks like a deep, deep red purple. We've already got a dark purple in there, so we could get a deep red. Then kind of like another reddish orange color, and then we're getting these bright colors. Let's look over here and see what we have. Hmm. <laughs> For that dark, this is probably my deepest, darkest red. It doesn't appear that way on the camera for some reason, but it's a really pretty red. There you go, it looks darker on my tray. Um, that next red, orangey red kind of color. This one's calling my name. And again, it looks a lot more red in there. It's pretty red. Might need something in between. I set them like that. Do they look like they might run together? Yeah, I like that. And then we're going to get some really bright stuff on the edges. Really bright kind of orange coloring for the edges. Mm -hmm. Probably get even lighter than that, but for now that looks really good. Now looking back at my photo again, oh, there's some really pretty yellows. Let's see what we have for yellows. Uh, I kind of want to stay in that orangey yellow, right? So maybe hmm, this guy. And I do see, oh yeah, that looks pretty good there. Sorry, I got quiet. I'm thinking and talking at the same time. I have to work on that. Um, and then there's some light yellow in there. Do you see that? I have to get a little bit brighter yellow. Not necessarily brighter, but a more white to it. That might be too white, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll come back over here. Put it in our tray. We'll start off with that. What other colors do I see in there that I might want to get out now? <laughs> see a darker turquoise color happening here. I don't really have anything like that picked out. It's a greener turquoise. Mm, but kind of in the darker family. Ooh. Quite possibly something like that. Here's where I'm looking. I think that's too blue. I need it greener. Where's my greens? Green, 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 green. Possibly you. 
Oops, sorry. I hope I'm not making y'all too dizzy. Yeah, I like that. Okay, you win. You get to play in the water as well. So there we go. That's, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 colors to start with. So I'm going to stop here and take everything back over to my easel.